Hey guys, here we are again in some pot recipe Friday. If you're new here, my name is Olina and I have a blog, ifoodreal.com. Here on YouTube, though, we share only healthy in some pot recipes, tips, and tricks just because I love my instant pot so, so, so much. Anyways, today's recipe will blow your mind because it did blow my mind and my family's mind. Today we're making instant pots, meatloaf and mashed potatoes, all in one pot. Hi guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! So how are we gonna do that? With the help of this magic set of bowls. So these are basically two stainless steel bowls with one lid and a trivet. So we're gonna put meatloaf here, potatoes here, put everything in the pot and cook it. I got these on Amazon and I'm gonna link below, but I'm just gonna show you inside. So this is the lid, stainless steel which is good, no aluminum foil, and just two bowls. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Now, I do anticipate a major question, what to do if you don't have these bowls? Well, there are many recipes online that use aluminum foil to separate the potatoes and kind of like to shape the meatloaf. You can do that, I'm not gonna judge you, but I'm not a fan of cooking in aluminum foil because aluminum is leaching um, chemicals into food. So I'm okay to spend 20, 30 dollars on these bowls and I make many, many one pot meals. We're gonna eliminate turning on the oven, mixing bowls, and you literally dump everything together. Everything is cooked in these bowls and in instant pot, that's it. Let's do it. So for mashed potatoes, you will need two pounds of potatoes. And I am using organic yellow potatoes. You can also use russet potatoes. They're good and starchy for um, mashed potatoes. And these are my potatoes and I'm past the stage of peeling potatoes because skin contains so many vitamins and nutrients and look, they're pretty clean. So I'm just gonna rinse them and chop into one inch cubes and add to the bottom bowl along with some water. So add potatoes to the bottom bowl and make sure it fits on top. See how I have a little bit too many potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some into the bowl and pour some cold water on them and refrigerate um, and use in a different recipe. All right. All right, so now it closes nicely. So you want to add one cup of water and set aside. So now in a second bowl, we're going to mix the meatloaf and cook it right in here. Isn't this amazing? I'm using ground turkey and this meatloaf comes out totally juicy because of being cooked in the instant pot. Turkey is juicy. All right, so you add one pound of ground turkey, one egg, then quarter in a cup oats. I'm using quick cooking steel cut oats. You can use any, it doesn't matter. That. Then the secret ingredient is balsamic vinegar. It adds a nice zip and taste and flavor to bland turkey. It's good. I add it to all my meatloaf. So about one teaspoon, one, two teaspoons. All right. 
And now we just add spices. So here I have dried oregano, dried thyme, you can use basil, rosemary, I've done all. Um, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Easy peasy. All right, I think that's it. Now you remove the rings and really get in there and just mix everything and shape it into a meatloaf shape, either round or the regular oval, whatever you like. So now you put the lid on top of the meatloaf because that's your top. Uh, pan and you do not add any water to meatloaf and stack meatloaf on top of potatoes How cute is this? and you put it inside the trivet and This is how we're gonna put it inside the instant pot and cook in here It reminds me of the war days <laughs> That's how soldiers ate food Anyways, let's do it so I'm using six quart instant pot lux. I also have eight quart instant pot duo and these containers fit into both. I'm not sure, I don't think they fit into three quarts. Just an FYI. So you add one cup water and you always, always want to add water when cooking in instant pot. Like this. Then you put these guys inside, just like that. Close the lid. Always make sure to move the valve to ceiling. And then we're gonna pressure cook on high pressure for 25 minutes or on lux, it means manual uh, button because lux cooks only on high pressure. So I just want to tell you what happens now. Instant pot will take about, I would say 10, 15 min minutes to boil the water inside and we'll really hear loud noises of boiling water. It's okay, then it will come to pressure and the pin will pop up. And a warning on lux, it looks like there is no pin, but actually it is there. And then once instant pot is up to pressure, the countdown from 25 minutes will begin and after that, your instant pot, meatloaf and mashed potatoes are almost ready. We're gonna do quick release because I don't have time to wait for an actual release and it's not necessary. So instant pot finished cooking. Now we need to release pressure using the quill. So now put the glove on and open the lid and remove the pot onto a towel or a rack holding onto a trivet. And I also like to do drain water a little bit like this. So now we're going to drain water from potatoes, actually holding onto the lid like this. We're going to make mashed potatoes just like grandma's regular mashed potatoes. You add what you usually add. I usually add a few tablespoons of butter, milk, salt, pepper, sometimes garlic or garlic powder. But my absolute favorite part is that we're gonna mash everything right in here. In the same pot we cooked in. How amazing is that? So now, as for meatloaf, we just want to make sure it's cooked through, and it is. And you can do so by inserting the thermometer inside, and it should reach between 150 and 160. So all we have left is to top the meatloaf, and the glaze is ketchup. And I'm using organic ketchup as much as you want. I just pour it on top and then spread it with spatula. You can use what you have. If you have regular ketchup, that is fine. A little bit of pepper and a little bit of parsley. Now, 
To cut the meatloaf, I do it right in this pan. This is the best part. Everything happens in the same bowls. Like you mix ingredients there, you cook there, you cut there, even serve there. Like I just laid the towel on our dining room table and just put the pans in there and everyone serves. Now this is good uh, for four people. So it's two adults and two kids in my family. And this is enough for us for dinner. And now there is another good part about Instant Pot. After you mash potatoes and slice meatloaf, you can put everything back, put it inside the pot and keep warm until you're ready to serve dinner. Now we need a Russian guy to test our meat and potatoes on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Back to the point. Cut. Do it. Ready? Uh, a little bit of potatoes too. Can I eat meat first? Yeah. Okay. This is the part I should say. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Don't choke. Oh show. my god. Okay. Be be nice. No, but it's really good. Um, the meatloaf mm. comes out, if you're wondering, the turkey comes out super juicy because mm. everything is locked in so the moisture doesn't evaporate. So don't worry, juicy turkey, juicy meatloaf, ketchup on top, mashed potatoes, literally. And you spend how many minutes? 10 doing everything and how many bowls? Mm. Two, it's the best. This is the only way I'm gonna make meatloaf and mashed potatoes until kids grow up. And even then, I don't know. From now on. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give us thumbs up below, subscribe right there, and come back next Wednesday and Friday, and we'll see you next time. Wednesday tips, Friday recipes. Oh. He does better job at this. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye. Okay, stop. This mm, is dinner. Mm, thank you.